What's up everybody, I'm Amber, this is Amber's Logic, got a new video for you today. Uh, just got my, well I got my shipment in, in a while ago from Banggood, finally got a, a dual LiPo charger, and the dual LiPo charger I went with was the HTRC T240, and this is a really, really nice LiPo, great bang for your buck. Uh, I picked it up on some type of special they had on Banggood, and I'll put the link in the description for less than 60 bucks for a dual lipo charger with a touch screen. So I got everything hooked up here now. I'm going to do the charge my uh, 5275C uh, 3S Power Hobby battery here. And you can see it does have the balance extension here. I'll put this up here so you can see a little better. It does have the balance extension lead here. Uh, it, it doesn't come, it comes with uh, these extensions here. I'll put in, uh, put in the view here. This all comes in the box as you can see. Dean's connectors. Dean's the XT60. Nothing that I'll ever use, so I actually purchased these separately uh, for XT, uh, XT60 connection here. Hopefully this will focus at some point. We'll see. But, uh, XT60 connectors here. I got this all turned on here. Just to give you a like, quick rundown of the specs real quick. 150 watts total power. Uh, the, the screen size is 3.2, automatic cell count, charges LiPo, Lilo, nickel, um, ca nickel, cadmium, and all that stuff. You know, all the traditional battery types. Uh, charges between 1 and 6S, programs for charge, discharge, storage, balance, cycle, and trickle. Six user-defined charge program shortcuts. Four millimeter bullet connectors, which we went through there a voltage check and internal resistance test, terminal voltage control, user cal calibration, and also has uh, ports as well on the side for a uh, firmware upgrade. Let me see if you guys can see that. For firmware upgrades, which is dope, got two fans there. I'm just gonna turn this joint on here real quick and uh, get it started here. I'm not gonna make this too long, just a real quick short video, but this is a really, really, nice dual lipo charge i really think this is definitely worth uh picking up here let me adjust the lighting a little bit see if you can see a little better so i'm gonna go for lipo here because it's on channel one and as you see it automatically detects let me see if i can there we go it automatically uh detects there just 3s uh, the current uh, amperage is going to be at 5, but I actually like to go a little lower than that. This is just my personal opinion. I don't need to charge it that fast. So uh, I just go down to 3 there. And then once I hit save, then uh, let me just try to get this lighting a little better here. Alexa, kitchen 40%. Let me just see if that helps a little bit with the lighting here. Okay. There we go. Just to help a little bit with the lighting there. So you can kind of see. There we go. So I put my charge current down to 3 amps. I usually like to charge my batteries a little slower. That's just my personal opinion. I like to do things that way. If you want to speed up, have them go super fast, that's on you. The default was five, I, I dropped it down to three. That's just the way I do things. Not saying you have to, that's the way I do things. And then at the top, you can see that you have your different options there, storage, charge, balance charge, or discharge. I'm gonna go with balance charge, most people do. So what I'm gonna do also, because I'm gonna be using this again at some point, and I'm just gonna hit save. And then that is going to save save those settings as you can see here there's different settings here and then i'll save that setting so i'm going to go back here and then i'm just going to hit start and as you can see sorry for the lighting here let me try to adjust this a little bit there we go you see that it starts to show the current and you can hear the fan kick in there And then it starts to show, it lets you know that it's a LiPo 3S balanced charge. It's on channel one. It gives you the voltage, internal temperature. 
I mean, it gives you everything you need right there. It tells you everything that's going on. I mean, like, I don't know how much better of a dual lipo charger you can actually get for the price there. So, like, I'm not, I don't want to make this long. There's other videos of people wasting your time going to depth with other little foolishness. But all I'm trying to tell you is this is a real, real nice charger. And if you are somebody that runs like a Traxxas X Max or anything that use like a, a Revo 2.0 that uses two batteries and you're looking for a cheap, really good charger, you really can't go wrong with this T240 Duo. And it has a power cord. You know, a lot of these chargers don't have a power cord. This actually has a power cord and an on and off switch, which is really, really slick. I mean, I don't, the only thing that I can think of that could be a negative possibly is over time, if it's going to be reliable or not. I, I feel like that's the only negative that could possibly be for uh, this charger. Otherwise, it's really, really nice, convenient, efficient, I will say the fans do kick in so there definitely is a little noise but it's nothing that's unbearable just want you guys to see the hookup again here see the balance leads there and just a little bit better look at the screen here like this is just a really really nice charger also has a time elapse uh, it, it's just like it does everything it's almost automatic especially with lipo charge you plug it in it's going to tell you exactly what you need to charge it at like i said the only thing i change is i change the amperage down as far as uh how much is going they, they wanted it at five i dropped it down to three as far as the charge rate so that like i said that's just a personal opinion and then again i can always press two and then i would be able to start to program what i wanted for two for the second channel there and then once i want to go back to see what's going on with my channel boom i just go back there and it lets me know exactly what's going on i can check the cells there once i hit cell it lets me know what the charging rate is and as you can see these cells are in good shape i have them in storage mode and you can see that they're all relatively the same voltage and percentage of charge And like I said, this is touchscreen, you guys. Touchscreen dual charger for less than 60 bucks. I don't know how you can go wrong with this. I don't know how you can complain. I mean, comment, like, and subscribe. Like, I'm trying to save you guys money out here. And not have you waste your money buying Traxxas chargers or whatever other foolish chargers you, that are out there that are way more expensive than this. Like, I'm coming from a Dynamite uh, P1 Mini. And that was 50 bucks just for a single charger. I'm getting a dual charger for less than 60 bucks that has all this information in it, allows you to do so much, charge two, char uh, charge two batteries, just the ease of use. Like it, it, it's really, really uh, a nice uh, charger. I just wanted to do this real quick for you guys just to show you that uh, you can really get a great affordable charger that's dual light for, that for dual light bulbs or whatever other batteries you charge just say dual chargers for less than 60 bucks that's what i got it for a bang good i'm not sure about the current price but that's what i got it and this is the htrc t240 just want to show you guys everything one more time see though that thing is charging so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section comment like subscribe uh, I'm really happy about this. So this is my latest video, RC video, just a review of the HTRC T240 LiPo charger. I'm gonna let this finish charging. I'm gonna try to get my X-Max out here now soon since I'm up in the Midwest and it's actually warmer here now. So the snow is starting to melt and I'm gonna get it back out here and do some bashing videos some, uh, in the very near future. Go on.